Hello and welcome to Seasonal Travelers. Today you are joining me from York and I am going to Scotland today to explore the highlands and the local Edinburgh city. So I hope to take you to some of the most amazing places in the UK. feeling like I have reached to the Disneyland. I mean looking at the buildings and the structures here. It's so beautiful. <laughs> and it looks like a haunted house happy i'm so happy that finally i got into the bus and i can't wait to explore the highlands so it was my dream to go on a solo trip and that to in a foreign country like i'm into scotland and i really can't wait to explore more Edinburgh has many beautiful bridges. On my right, you can see the iconic Ford's Rail Bridge, which is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I am into Pitlockery right now which is uh, located on the banks of river Tamil and this is a small town like a very small pretty town and uh, uh, it feels so good to be here all the buildings here are very vintage and very artistic like they preserve their old cultural heritage so nicely Welcome to the Highlands. Like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. As we are slowly entering into Highlands from the low, lowlands, we can see the color of the landscape. It's changing. Like it was green first, and then it started to turn into yellow, and then little bit, bit of reddish. From the time I watched Outlander, I always wanted to be in Inverness and after crossing so many highland places and so many landscapes, finally uh, I came through Inverness and now reached to Loch Ness. 
so i'll show you a small glimpse of nessi i don't know if i can spot it today or not but yeah this place is just so amazing just have a look so it's the nessi and behind me you can see this is loch ness nessi is a mythical character and it is believed to be the monster of loch ness A picture was taken in the year 1934 by a surgeon even though there is no evidence of Nessie's existence but Nessie remains as an iconic character which attracts the tourist In Scottish Gaelic language the lakes are pronounced as loch these lakes are mainly sea inlets and uh, it has salt water nice meeting you and thanks for taking my pictures i really like it so you are coming from portugal okay you are from portugal yes. and you are here in uh, i mean for yeah for two weeks for two weeks just to study yes just to study yes. okay i will be next week so okay this is my last week it's so nice meeting you thank you so much yeah nice yeah This is one of the most visited castles in Scotland. I have just reached here by my own and I don't know what to say. I'm so overwhelmed now because this is the place where I always wanted to be like it was one of my top bucket list. Part of me is sad because uh, my husband is not there with me, my family is not there with me. Arkford Castle has an intense history. In 14th century it had played a significant role in the wars of Scottish independence. It was deliberately demolished to prevent Jacobite rising as this castle was used by Jacobite rebels. So we are entering to the bedroom. Slots. This portion of the castle used to be the watch tower.
quite surprised to find the store room at the basement. Despite of being a ruin, the Arkwood Castle, due to its uh, beauty, the ancient walls, the towers, and the lush greenery, it draws many visitors. And the whole place creates a mystery. It was one of the lifetime experience for sure. We have a short stop for uh, the tallest mountain, Ben Nevis. All I can say is what you see with your own eyes, camera, your phone cannot capture. Pen means uh, the hill and nevis means the clouds. So most of the time it's uh, covered with the clouds. But uh, yeah, we are fortunate that we can get a little glimpse of that. This is probably one of the most scenic place I have visited today and I just sat there and enjoyed watching the mountains. We are having real bumpy ride here because the landscape here are consist of mosses and the surface is watery. There are no trees at a very stretch in this area. That was all about today's trip to the highland and uh, now we are almost wrapping up for the day and I just grabbed some uh, dinner and uh, this bus will take us to Edinburgh now and uh, yeah that's it hope you enjoyed watching so if you like my video please give a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe thank you and see you in another vlog wait wait the surprise is not over yet <laughs> Come on, honey, I've got something for you. Come on, love. Come on, you. <laughs> Come on, honey. Baxter. Come on, you. Come on. Look what I've got. Grab a piece, give it to me. He's three years old. That's Connie. She's eight. So if you see me in the car, just use the video that way you can see her.